Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra continues his profound teaching titled, How to Neutralize Curses. Yesterday, he explained that when we follow the plan of God, we are protected from curses. Today, he speaks about the decisions of God and how they influence curses. Let's join in. Number two is God's decisions. Just one of the decisions. Where there is a king, you don't make the decisions. It is the king that makes decisions on your behalf. As a king of the house, when my children were growing, I made decisions on their behalf. I tell them when they should sleep, when they should wake up, what they will eat. And as I've been making decisions on behalf of my children, you know, my father made many decisions on my behalf. It has been a blessing to me. But I want to be a full man. My father said, no. You will go to school. In the same way, we say, our father, which art in heaven. We are with him in the house. If really his throne is there, he'll make the decisions. How you use your money. Sunday morning, he'll make the decision. On Sunday morning, his decision is that you should be sitting in the church, listening to a sermon. That's his decision. I like Jesus. Luke 4, 16 says, as his custom was, or manner was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Even Jesus, who was a man, every Sunday morning, he goes to church. He was a Bible reader in the church. There was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. He was a Bible reader in the church. So somebody said, oh, as for me, I will worship God in my heart. It is not your decision to make. You cannot approach God on your terms. That's what people always forget. You can never approach God on your own terms. That's why it's called a covenant. There are two words, a contract and a covenant. In a contract, you bring your terms, I bring my terms. But in a covenant, I am the one who brings the terms and I put it down. Either you accept or you reject it. And if you accept, all the blessings will come. If you don't accept to, then I take, I take all my blessings and I walk away. A covenant is one-sided. So decisions. You don't get up and say, oh, on Sunday I want to go and wash my car. No. When the throne of God is there, you don't get to make the decisions. God makes the decisions. You may not even feel like giving an offering, but it is not up to you to decide. It is his decision. Hallelujah. Jesus, when he created Adam, Genesis 2, 50 says, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. The Lord called God commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the fruit of the tree, which is the midst of the garden, thou shalt not eat of it, neither shall, it, shall you touch it, lest you die. God said, I've made a decision for you. This tree, don't touch it. The throne of God. I don't know whether you are willing to go for God to make this. And you know what? The more you progress as a Christian, the more the decisions go into little, tiny things. At the beginning, the decisions look like only on big things. But as you draw closer to the Lord, you realize that now he's making decisions on even small, 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 small things. That's why whatsoever therefore you eat or drink, or whatever you, you do, do all to the glory of God. It will reach a point, God will make decisions on even how to eat. I have less, led a fasted life for about 30 years. How did I come by that? I used to eat breakfast, lunch, and supper. Then one day the Holy Ghost said to me, for you to pray effectively, you cannot be having this breakfast, lunch, and supper. So, when you wake up in the morning, you will pray, 
and you will fast and you will end the fast at six in the evening. I did it for many years. The when I went, I became 50, the Holy Ghost said to me, no, change from six, move to about two or three because now you are older. So basically speaking, I'm always fasting. I have not said go and do the same. Maybe he says you should eat and drink. I don't know about you. Are you understanding me? I don't know about you. I'm talking about what he told me. But he made a decision. And it was a wise decision. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that when we allow God to rule and follow his decisions, every curse will be defeated. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My son started talking. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to pray for my one and a half year old son who hadn't started talking and you prayed for him. By the grace of God, he has started mentioning words and trying to form sentences. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide.